Hello and welcome at a brand new Omnibus related video and this time we we'll take a look at the brand new cable and X Force Omnibus. Here's the front of the book. We got a white spine on this one um, and the back of the book has all the covers from the issues included in this book. And in uh, the X Force uh, cable and X Force Omnibus we get X Force uh, 32 through 43 annual 3 cable 9 through 20 we got new warriors 45 and 46 X Factor 106, Excalibur 82, and Wolverine 85. And this book also uh, thereby includes two thirds of the Phalanx Covenants, the crossover event. It's 100 bucks and 127 Canadian dollars. Then we get a look at the actual hardcover itself, which has a wraparound cover. And this is the wraparound cover of a cable issue, I believe. Yeah, the last Phalanx Covenant uh, issue. This is the front of the book with uh, a large cable in the middle. And then it's time to take a look at the inside. Um, yeah, let's do that right now. Here is the dust jacket again. With the same art as the hardcover of the book and the back of the dust jacket. And when we open the book we see a beautiful light blue color. I actually like it. And it's a color which is used uh, through the whole book as a theme here you see the same color and here are the creators the writers Fabian Nicieza uh, Tony Daniel as a penciler uh, and lots of others of course then we start with X-Force 32 which is a direct continuation of the Dapple and X-Force Omnibus and this is thereby actually X-Force Omnibus 3, but we'll take a look at why that is at the end of the video. Let us just enjoy the art for now. New Warriors. Yeah, it starts with a Child's Play uh, miniseries, uh, a crossover uh, miniseries with New Warriors. And after though this miniseries, it gets into the Cable Issue 9. I gotta tell you, didn't read anything included in this omnibus. I'm just about to start X-Force Omnibus Volume 1, which is uh, the start of the X-Force, of course. Um, which is a couple of years before the story is included here. So I'm, I like reading everything in chronological order, so... Um, this book will come as third, of course, because we also have the Dapple and X-Force Omnibus, which is the X-Force Volume 2. What I really like about this uh, book uh, specifically is that you can really see how the art changes throughout the 90s. Because this book starts at, what is it, like 91, 92, I believe. And is it? Yeah, something like that. And the, at the end of the book, we're like at 1995, 94. And you can really see how the art has changed. You got uh, a lot of different panels. Um, art gets out of panels and just full spread pages. Which isn't here yet because this is the cable issue. And at this point, we're almost at the Phalanx Covenant crossover. But first, the Annual 3. With Mike Waringo as a penciler. You can really see his art style here. I really like Mike Waringo's uh, Zero's work. But this looks great man. Typical 90's annual stuff. Like pinup artwork. For the characters inside. Here we have Domino. Dapple. Wow. Looking at a dead, badass Dapple from the 90s here. And here it gets into Phalanx Covenant. And what I really don't like is that they only include uh, the, the second and the third part of the story. And the first part with uh, the Uncanny X-Men is included in the Phalanx Covenant hardcover, of course. But that's actually a really tough one to get. It's <laughs> It goes for ridiculous prices at eBay right now. I just looked at it and it was like three four hundred dollars and in euros even more here in the Netherlands so really ridiculous prices so uh, I, uh, I I saw that they actually reprint a Phalanx Covenant in a trade paperback form as the X-Men Milestone series 
later this year. So I might pick that one up for the extra couple of issues. And we're like just past the middle of the book. So let's get a couple of pages back and look at the binding. Which is really great. The spine is lifting and we have an eye hole. So the pages have room to breathe. Doesn't make any weird noises or cracking sounds. So yeah, I can say the binding of my issue is really good. Here is the last part of the Phalanx Covenant with the Wolverine issue. And what I noticed about this bit sp issue specifically is that the art isn't as sharp as the other art. I think you can't really see that at the video, but it's, it's, it's just vague. And here is a good example of the change in art. So this is the last Phalanx Covenant issue, just typical 90s. And then the next issue of X-Force. Totally different art. Great to see all this changing art in one book. Really like it. Still some vertical pages, which is, which is also a 90s thing. And at the end of the book, we're just getting into the Age of Apocalypse. So after this book, you can read Age of Apocalypse. This is Cable Issue 19, and the last issue included in this book is Cable Issue 20. And let's see... Is this the last issue? Alright, this is Cable Issue 20. I recognize the art immediately. So, this is a issue which I have collected <laughs> in four different books with three times oversized. Cable issue 20 is more than a triple dip issue for me. <laughs> because it's also collected in the Age of Apocalypse prelude trade paperback. Which was a very old school X-Men uh, trade. Uh, with very odd paper. like Almost like um, newspaper paper. Really cheap. And the upgraded version of that book is the Legion Quest hardcover. Which I also have right here. Which got everything the prelude does, but even more. And they actually reference it here as well. And it's also included, for the fourth time, in the Age of Apocalypse Omnibus. <laughs> so yeah, four times collected, cable issue 20. Never forget. <laughs> and then let's dive into the extras, which yeah, we got a couple of extras. And also the extras are at the omnibus style uh, so yeah some variant covers here we got some magazine stuff about generation X and the Phalanx Covenant trading cards and that's it and like I said this is actually omnibus volume 3 from X-Force so you got the X-Force Omnibus, Volume 1, Deadpool and X-Force Omnibus, and Cable and X-Force Omnibus. And here's the reason why. This is X-Force Omnibus Volume 1, which collects New Mutants, 98, first appearance of Deadpool, through 100, uh, Annual 7, etc. And also X-Factor 1 through 15. This is the Deadpool and X-Force Omnibus, which collects X-Force 19 through 31. And there you miss like three issues which are included in the Executional Song hardcover. And this is the new Cable and X-Force Omnibus which picks up right where Deadpool left off at issue 32 through 43. So when you have these th three books and the Executional Song Omnibus you actually have X-Force 1 through 43. And this is how it looks like at your bookshelf. So you got X-Force Omnibus Volume 1 with the Black Spine. Dapple and X-Force with the Black Spine. And yeah, why not Marvel? Cable and X-Force as the third book with the White Spine. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and see you next time. Bye.